33-21, and 21, and hosting a regional for the first time in five years. Brett Carey deals, and off we go with the postseason. We are talking with Mark Kingston about Clark's prospects at the next level, and he smokes this one to right. Teal is back at the wall, and it's gone! My, 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 that's how you started off. We talked about it. Goliath versus Goliath. Power versus power. Clark gets a fastball. It's out over the plate. Drills it to right field for the home run. And that is how you start. And you're seeing 87, 88. All of a sudden, you're seeing 94. Jake Kellogg pulls one to left and ties the ball game. The freshman goes deep, and this is a 1-1 game in the third. His second collegiate home run. Big Brothers, the leadoff man. Jake bats out of the eighth spot, and it's 1-1 here in Columbia. Oh boy, and that's how you jump on that fastball down in the zone. You know that he's going to throw it. He likes to throw it. And boy, did he absolutely crush it. There's the bat flip for you. My goodness, his second home run. He only hit his first home run in the ACC tournament against Notre Dame. So he hasn't been doing it a lot. Zach climbs in. And he goes the opposite way. Struck well to right. Eister's back. And that's gone as well. The brothers have both gone deep here in the third in a span of three batters. Seven years ago in Omaha and now here in Columbia. My goodness, Bass Brothers coming up big. And this is a fastball away. It's a little bit up in the zone and elevated. And how about staying with that pitch, going to right field for your home run? That's his eighth of the season. I mean, we had guys on our staff who had thrown 30 more innings than Kerry had, and that just wasn't good enough to have him not throwing enough. As Wimmer's throw pulled Mendham off the bag, and Cody A reaches. Crew. And the 3 2 to Teal is outside for ball four. So there's two aboard here, and this has turned into a very troublesome inning now. Hopefully, there's nothing wrong with Carey. Definitely don't want to see uh, a player of his caliber be hurt. Slotted into the five spot in the lineup for Virginia, and he's hot again as he pulls one to left, but Seitler comes on to put it away. And Bosnick does his job in the top of the third. Now the payoff is low, ball four. Boy, the misses from the South Carolina pitching staff, Kerry and now Bosnick, they have not been big misses with his receiving. Newell rolls one, past the dive, past the shift into right center. With two down, Jake Geloff goes first to third, and the Cavaliers have him at the corners. Bosnick deals. Gell off on the ground. Mendon can't secure it. The flip. Safe at first, and a run scores. Now the throw over to third, and they've got the runner hung up. Newell runs into an out. Virginia gets the run to take the lead up to two on a ground ball misplayed by Mendon. We'll sort it out on the other side, where the call is safe. So the run scores. Now, Virginia does run into an out at third to end the inning on the back side of it. Let's show you the play at first on the Mendham bobble initially. Yeah, the Mem I mean, he did a great job of being able to at least get over there and knock it down. You just have Geloff. He's too fast down the line. But this is the one where for Newell, 
you cannot make this play. But you could see he definitely that foot gets there before that foot gets down. So he definitely beat it out. But then the sequence you can see. So this ball gets knocked down by Mendham. He picks it up, tries to get it real quick to Bosnick. Doesn't do it. Now Bosnick takes and turns his back. And Mendham saying, hey, 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 check him out. Throws it to third. And, and, and this is one where for Newell, you got to realize you, the, the golden rule of baseball, you can't make the first or the last out at third base. Another 3-2. And he sails that one, and it is a leadoff walk. The run. Michael stings one in the left. So after the failed bunt bid, Michaels is on, and there's two aboard for Virginia here in the sixth inning against Bosnick. Two in scoring position, 3-2. And Newell rolls it right side into the shift out of Wimmer, and Bosnick gets out of the jam. So he leaves two in scoring position and keeps this a two-run game in the sixth. Over 600 coming in. 3-2 again. And he lays off. Khalil works the walk. First one ish. The payoff. It's hit in the left field, back toward the wall, and it'll one hop up and over the wall. A ground rule double for Wes Clark. Probably keeps a run off the board there, certainly for South Carolina. And instead, two in scoring position here in the sixth. 0-1 pitch is a breaking ball, yanked to right by Seitler, and that's down for a fair ball. Karam's up and over, and South Carolina ties the ball game. What a tremendous job done by Seitler. Gets the fastball up in the zone. The next pitch, it's going to be a curveball. He struck him out with it, his last A-B. Ready for it this time. Pulls his hands in, keeps the ball fair down the line, and ties this game up. And this place is jumping. Run off a second. 3-2 pitch. Low ball four. 3-1. Burgess hits it hard in the left field of ace hit. Bobbled in left by Rivoli. And the Gamecocks lead. Burgess did exactly what he's supposed to do in the situation. 3-1 count. You're looking for a fastball, looking for something to hit. Going right away. There's two outs. You're going to be sending them home. And unfortunately for Rivoli, ball gets right underneath his glove. And Malone, he's able to get the third base on this one. Just great base running all the way around. Two two on the way, and it's grounded left side. Geloff goes the short way to second. Nice catch over there by Codier, and the inning is over. In the game, Joe Satterfield, the Elon transfer, comes on as we begin the seventh with Zach Geloff singling to right atop the Virginia lineup. That's how he greets Lloyd, tying run aboard in the seventh for the Cavaliers. That fastball up and in to the righties. Ortiz on the ground to short. Khalil on the run ends the inning. A scoreless seventh for Danny Lloyd. Long. One, two. Bounces this one right side. Cody a long way to go. Trying to get rid of it. Not in time. One, two for Messenger. It is strike three called. Eister goes down by way of the K, back-to-back -back punchies for Messenger. He's got the fans going, that's for sure. Strike three called on the inside corner. And you really concentrate to opposite field. Strike 
three called. Back to back K's and that one through the back door for Lord. At home. Lord's 3-2. And he strikes out.